Hello, Maria here with Fourth Dimension. Thanks for joining me. I'm reading for the sign of Libra. Libra, you're going through it, man. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on. I feel like you're being challenged this week. I haven't even pulled a card. Um, you're forced to talk about your feelings. <laughs> I don't know. I just like, it's the feeling I have is like, you're having to get real. You're having to, to really explore what the hell is the problem? Like what's really the problem? You're going deep and you're talking the real stuff. Um, you're uncomfortable. I don't, I haven't even pulled a card yet. And I'm just like, I don't even want to do the reading. <laughs> I will, but I feel like I'm, I'm guarded. I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to get in my feels. I don't, I feel threatened. Um, I'm, I'm defensive. I'm angry. I'm hurt, but I'm scared. I don't know whose energy I'm pulling in on, but this is childhood stuff. This is a uh, little kid in energy, like I'm abandonment. I'm, I'm going to be abandoned if I tell you what's going on. Personally, this isn't me because I don't, <laughs> it's just me. I've got nothing to fear. I'm not leaving myself, you know, so it's, there's no transference happening. But this is a, a lot of projection going on in this. Um, not, not, uh, okay, a handful of you might be pushing back. A handful of you might be accepting the challenge and talking about your feelings. Let's find out. What's going on with Libra? What's happening with Libra? Oof, super guarded. Talking about Libra. Four Pentacles, conservative, holding back. I just said that. Ten of Wands, dropping a burden. This is a conversation that has been going on in your head for a long time. Two of Pentacles, wishy-washy, back and forth, hot and cold. Should I talk? Should I not? This is hidden energy. Five of Pentacles, I'm going to be left in the cold if I talk about it. Um, someone's going to, it's threatening. It's, uh, if I say something that it could start a fight, I don't want to start a fight. I, we're going to get into an argument, you're going to leave me. Um, Eight of Pentacles, I'm investing in you. I'm going to continue investing in myself. This is very much a self-love. Uh, every s single spidey sense is going off. So I feel like I'm touching on, so I'm like totally, this might be a personal reading, but I feel like I'm just putting my finger in the open sore, open wound of somebody's fear. Um, somebody's trying to do self-love and um, getting called out on something, on their feelings about something, about this relationship. Seven of Pentacles. So I have the Eight of Pentacles next to the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's looking back at this relationship. Maybe, holy moly Libra. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. Okay. So, okay. <sighs> Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Okay. So just, that's my validation. So Libra, hmm. Okay. I don't know who I'm reading for, but just food for thought. Are you staying in this relationship out of comfort, out of security, out of, I don't want to leave this thing. It's not abandonment. A part of it is abandonment. Part of it is a little bit. Most of it is, I don't want to leave. Um, I feel like you're in this relationship out of convenience and you're in this relationship. You like this person. You don't, you don't expect to love, marry this person. This is not somebody you, you really want to go the distance with. It's a, it's a space filler. This person that you're with is a whole a placeholder for the real person that you're waiting for. I don't know who that is. I don't know who I'm reading for. I don't need a bunch of hate comments. This might be one person's reading. I'm just saying, and you can if you want, but I don't care. I, I sleep well at night either way. My point is, is the energy I'm reading for is for a Libra who is being called out by their mate. Their mate is calling their crap out, asking them, uh, about behavior, about investment, and where is this going, and who am I to you, and what is it, that energy, and uh, either it's, I feel like it's you, Libra, I feel you're the, and if I reverse it, go ahead, but I feel like you're the one who's saying, ah, I don't know if I, I don't think I want this, I don't think you knew you didn't want it until this person put their finger in the wound, and raise your awareness of what what do you want and you're like i don't want this but you're afraid of losing this it's the weirdest feeling it's very very kid it's very like six-year-old four-year-old level i'm going to be left out they're gonna leave me here it's like home alone feeling you know what i mean somebody's gonna leave me leave me out in the wind to dry 
you know, hanging in the wind. I got like leaves blowing in the, I, without, without being grounded, without being stable, without being solid. Um, Libra, it might be you being this person, how somebody sees you, or you're seeing your partner as the grounding person, but that's the energy. Somebody's off in the wind, somebody's the grounding energy. Um, the one who's grounded is asking the other person, are you joining me in this walk or am I doing this alone? Because you're not showing up, you're not investing. So forgive me if that's the conversation that you're having with somebody. I think we've all been there at some point, don't get defensive. I'm just saying it's an opportunity for you to identify um, the burdens that you're carrying, the fears and the investment. What do you really want? The hot, cold, wishy-washy in and out, back to the eight, to the seven. Now you're looking back to see if you want to invest in this. That's the energy. Tell me more about Libra. Libra, you're having an awakening. That's what's happening. You have the high priestess over the four of uh, pentacles. You're, that's what I just said. You're having... Um, the awakening you're having is what do you want? You're investing in yourself, King of Cups with the King of Pentacles. You're tapping into these two major kings, this energy of getting emotional intelligence, listening to your inner self. And the King of Pentacles is security, strategic planning, looking forward. You're combining both of those together. Um, am I capable of being alone? Am I capable of raising myself? Do I need this other person that badly? Am I that afraid to be alone? What's wrong with being alone? Um, independent. I think, I think historically you're the kind of guy or person or woman, both, um, human, I'll just say that you're the human. You can count on your hand how many months you've been single and you're an adult. So you're not comfortable with being single. You're either on the hunt for the next relationship. You're in the relationship looking for the next one. So you're like stepping out of one into another. So you're never really alone. I don't know who I'm rooting for, uh, but you can count on one hand how many months you've been single, single. Like you might've gone six or seven months, brand new opportunity. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, I just said that. All right. So whoever I'm reading for, you may be in a situation where you've been dating for a while, okay? And your person's calling you out on this garbage or this feelings and they're this like fish or cut bait, you know, it's a nice way to put it. Um, they wanna know how long are you, are you gonna, are you here for the long run with me? Are you joining me? That's the, I keep getting that in my head, in my head, in my head. Like, are you joining me on this journey? Are you coming with me in my canoe? Are you, are you investing in the, in the long term? Where is this going? It's a high level of anxiety for this other person because they keep giving and giving and giving and they're like, screw this, I'm done. That's the energy. This other person is trying to draw. You may not be ready for that. I don't know. I think that's what you're forced to look at, but you don't want to be left out either. You'd like the person well enough, but I don't think you're wanting to remain the rest of your days with this person. You're afraid of that. That's this energy. You're needing to have the, the honest truth with this person. That's King, the Queen of Swords. Tell me more about the two of pentacles and the Queen of Swords, please. <laughs> Page of Cups in the reverse with the King of Wands. You want to remain single, don't you, Libra? You like the benefits of being independent, but you don't want to be solo. If you had it your way, you would be a person with a companion. That is who you, I think that's what you want. You want somebody to go on fishing trips with, spend your weekends with, nothing wrong with that. I think that's the conversation that needs to occur. And I don't know who I'm reading for. Like I said, it might be just one person, but the, there's nothing wrong with this energy. Not a damn thing, but I think you just have never said it. Cause I feel like you feel you led people on to think you want more of this Ace of Pentacles. Um, and you're afraid. You've always been afraid to have that conversation because you don't want to look a certain way. You don't want it to be an image issue about you being a ho, 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 ho. But the reality is you're not willing to commit, not to the level that people are wanting you to. I have the eight of pentacles ahead of the seven. You are investing in you and you are working on yourself. I don't know, again, who I'm reading for. That's not, that, nothing wrong with that. You're saving your own pennies for you. This is, you're waiting for, I feel like you're waiting for somebody to match that energy, but I feel like you're looking, 
you're constantly being pushed into a position to look back at the relationship and saying, is this something I want to invest in? I feel like you've been sitting in a space of guilt, maybe, or fear, maybe both, or regret. Um, and this isn't like, this energy isn't like, you feel like you've taken advantage of people. And I'm feeling like, I don't feel like that's the truth. I don't think you've taken advantage of anybody. Um, you both enjoyed the ride so far. I mean, it's been an interesting trip so far with this person. Um, but I just don't think that you're willing to go the distance. You wish if it were anybody, you might be with this person, but I don't think you want, you would be in the committed sign the line, you know, sign over a home, joint bank account, marriage level commitment. That's not this energy. The energy I feel is more like companion like that's how you saw this person and you put them in a space of a companion and you're enjoying your life but now this because you're the king of wands now this person's asking you to evaluate who are you to me are you the king of cups are you going to be there are you the king of pentacles somebody i could invest in long term and you're like i don't know <laughs> i don't know i could be reading for a male libra or two women somebody who's in a masculine this is this is somebody you've, or you're a woman who is comfortable being acting in your masculine. I don't know who I'm reading for, but the person, this energy is, you've put this person, your partner, in a position of partner in your mind, and it's not enough for your other person. The other person you're in a relationship with is challenging you immediately to fish, cut bait, move forward, like sign a deed. I keep feeling like, sign. are we going in on the house together? Why won't you co-sign? You know, like, blah, blah, blah. I hear all that stuff. Um, like we sleep together, have for 10 years, but I'm not good enough. Like that's the vibe. Sorry. Um, I feel like I got the two of swords in the reverse, which is like bad mistakes, misrepresentation, um, not being loyal. It's like you wanting a companion. Like you don't mind being like having an open relationship. <laughs> I work here. I just work here. You want fries with that? That's really where I'm at right now. So I have the nine of you're happy in this space. I just said this, you're very content in having a companion. You don't want it to go anywhere. You don't want it to escalate to any major commitment. No wedding bells. No, 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 no. But you sure as shit will pay for the next cruise. <laughs> I got you. We're going to Mexico. Like pack your bags, baby. Let's go. We're going to Vegas this Saturday. You know, like that's the feeling I have is that you're looking to just keep it fresh and light and simple and the person is escalating, trying to put some weight on your shoulders. Again, nothing wrong with either of them. It just seems like a conversation. You've always been willing. I just said that. You've always been overgiver. And there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like you have the money to, to share. You overgive. Nothing wrong, again, with this energy. Um, and I feel like the, the scale has been balanced as far as, you know, if somebody was keeping points in this conversation of this relationship, but it's been balanced in your eyes, but in their eyes, the emotional commitment, the emotional giving has been more on their side. And you're like, but wait a minute, I've been carrying the financial burden. I've been carrying, um, like everything else. So yeah. Um, so you might have to, you might have to fish or cut bait here on this. Libra. Libra, that's hiding. Nine of Pentacles. You want, you're focused on your money. You're focusing on investing in yourself. I just said that. Eight, nine. You are the pre-empress or pre-emperor, male. Um, same energy. It's enjoying your life the best you can all by yourself in this relationship out this relationship. I feel like the people I'm reading for have been in a relationship, just recently dissolved a relationship. Um, but a lot of you are, are with a boo, a thing, a new birth, you know, and it's kind of moving fast or it's been a while. And for a handful, it's moving fast for a handful of others that are longstanding relationships. This sucker, um, 
never got to the level of commitment your partner wishes it would have. I'm hearing, I think you're, you, if you're the Libra, you might, you might be feeling this energy because Libras tend to be the heavy, deep roots family, right? I feel heavy Sag, like the backpacker, like back, 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 Dora the Explorer. So the Nine of Pentacles is you having the wealth and to just jump on the train or the plane or the automobile and just go. And you're looking forward to the next adventure. This one has been comfortable for a long time. Whoever I'm reading for, I'm just going to speak. Whoever I'm reading for has been enjoying this relationship, but this is now escalated to an uncomfortable level because you have to make a decision because this person won't let the foot off the gas about what the next chapter is. And I don't think you're willing to invest in the next chapter. Eight, it goes eight, seven, nine. It's you being independent. You are investing in you, looking back at what you've invested for. And I think you're gonna invest in you. Ace of Swords, you're gonna have this honest conversation with this person. They're gonna have it with you about what I just said. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Cups. This is somebody's energy, Queen of Cups, Knight of Wands, Temperance, the Death card with the Six of Cups and the Three of, Heart, three of Swords with the Four of Wands with the Four of Swords with the King of Swords. Okay, so lots going on. You, my friend, I, okay, let me just start here. You might be dealing with a water sign and I this Queen of Cups could be a, a man. It doesn't matter. It could be a woman. It doesn't matter. Um, but I feel like it's a water sign. Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Cancer. Um, the death and rebirth, it might be the death of this relationship and this person, you, may be in your Queen of Cups looking for um, using your imagination. It's the most creative. So you might be focusing on something that you're in, investing in. I feel like, uh, I feel like you're, you're, that explore comment that I was making, if that, if this is you, that's what you're looking for is just the next adventure. The the night of wands, even though I give it a hard time by saying it's the, the Saturday night, here today, gone tomorrow, but that's kind of the passion I feel with the Ace of Swords. And you might just say, listen, I'm not ready for the next chapter to take off my shoes, pull out my pipe, sit on the couch and retire. I want to go exploring. I'm not ready for this level. I want to, I still want to, I still want to be free and be independent. I want to invest in me. I want to go out and see what the world has. I feel like you miss this part of your life of uh, being independent. Um, it lacks balance. I feel like you have been giving to this relationship, but haven't. now you're giving to yourself. It might break your person's heart. I'm sorry. And I feel like staying in this relationship would hurt yours. I have the four of wands, the four of swords, and the king of swords. The next, the future energy, is having a future, like in the future, you're gonna have a very honest, direct conversation about what you want. The Four of Wands with the Four of Swords is you sitting in a space of that, what I just said, meditating, listening to your tribe. Do I wanna invest in this foundation? Because that's what you're doing, you're building a foundation, whether it be for yourself, independent, or you're building it with this person together. That's this energy, and it's like, um, the Four of Wands, the definition of the Four of Wands in the Rider right Waite deck is be be prepared for the adventure of your lifetime. Like be, um, here it actually says it on the card. It says, uh, be ready for the opportunity that you worked forward to. They worked, that you've worked for. Yeah. So whatever energy you've been giving has been manifesting this whole time underneath the current. Um, now, Many of you, it's love and marriage and commitment. Love and marriage. Okay, so you, that, you got that. And several of you are backpack. Dora the Explorer are gonna go out and find out the next fun cycle. Um, but it's gonna be independent. It's not going to be, it might be a new job. It might be traveling the world. And, you know, especially with the Nine of Pentacles, that's about, that's very wealthy. That's extremely abundant, secure in their wealth. Um, that's a part of it. And again, I read for a lot of Libras, so I don't know the exact details to your story, but I do feel this King of Swords, whether it be you, your energy, or this person's energy, um, the King of Swords is you've thought through all the perspectives, you've looked at all the angles, and you're going to move forward with a decision 
based on what you want. And yes, I think it comes down to this card is it's not just broken hearted and shattered in this read, but it's there. It's very much missing an opportunity missing. And it could be with you or, you know, missing feeling loss. It's lack. It's sadness. It's grief, uh, pain. It's pain. This, this is very painful conversation. The outcome may also be painful for one of you, both of you, I think, um, it's the bitter truth. It's it's the salt in the wound. It's the vinegar on the tongue. It's the bitter truth of the reality. It might create separation. You might say, let me go and and seek whatever. The, I feel like somebody's a photographer. Somebody, <laughs> somebody's wanting to explore, like literally go out and explore, like go out and take shots. I'm, I'm getting images of when I was in Cyprus. Right when I got divorced, I grabbed a backpack. True story, I helped me heal a ton. Went out and um, by myself on a plane, didn't know a soul, stupid as hell, but I enjoyed every second of it because I just was gonna, I've never done anything like this. I've been the stable person my whole life for everybody. And I'm like, screw everybody, I'm out of here. And that's the feeling of this is I'm just needing to get away. And it might be getting away from them, from the chaos and they might cut some of that. I don't know what your story is. And you might jump into this person and you happy ever after, I'm not sure. This energy is um, wanting to go out and explore. You know, I keep seeing pictures of me in Cyprus, um, of pictures I took, because it was a Turkey, Italy, and Greece. And then there's a little Cyprus, is a little island, I love it. Um, people are amazing, love the people there. But I was able, it's very Mediterranean, so I was able to just wander in, you know, live, live my best life for a couple of weeks. And uh, when I left, I felt it's exactly what I needed. It's exactly what I needed. I just needed to get grounded. And I feel like that's kind of the overall energy. So whether you, this is your energy or somebody else's energy towards you and you're having this honest conversation, Knight of Pentacles, you're going to invest in something, whether this, like I just said, I just said all this, this person or yourself, and it's already in motion. So this four of swords, this, it's like marinating this constant thought of this level, next level, your level, next level, like which what is back and forth, what, you know, of what you want um, isn't overnight. And you're making that decision moving forward. Page of Swords, you're having this on a honest conversation. Eight of Cups, Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups, going after what you want. The Knight of Cups, it's already in motion with the uh, Wheel of Fortune. There it is. So... This is uh, pulling in a, in a world. It's pulling in um, change. That's all this means. It's just the one thing that is inevitable, death, taxes, and change, you know, and this is you having a strength in your own skin for new beginnings, whether it's with this person, because whatever this is happening here, whatever this energy is, it can't continue in the same space, in the same timeline as it has. It can't consistently stay solid. That's not this energy. It is forced to, it's forcing you and your person to have a deeper conversation about not only what do I want, where am I going, what am I investing in, how much am I going to invest in. Um, it's stopping cycles and starting a new one. And you can choose this person or not, but this is what it looks like. You are moving forward in uh, with fierce passion and like you're on, I kind of get the sense you're trying to find your destiny. That's it. This person may be your destiny for a handful of you. I feel like you're on your way out to find it and it's, uh, that's it. You're going to find out. You're gonna find out what it looks like. I'm very excited for you, Libra. I feel like you're taking yourself out of a space of comfort and you're challenging yourself and facing some fears of being alone. And I feel like this is a first for you of uh, grabbing that backpack, however that looks, whether you come back and revisit this or you stay, but it changes because you're committing in the backpack. The adventure might be the next chap buying a house together. I don't know. Like this, this, it's up to you. Um, this is specifically, uh, this is, this is for a Libra that has 
has a long standing history of not being alone. Let's start there. So this is somebody who's been in a relationship most of their adult life, one after another. So if this resonates and, and I hit a nerve, sorry, but I do, uh, I have a, I have a link on the bottom of my comment page. Go ahead and click that if you would like to book a private reading with me and we can pick this apart, unpack it and see, um, get the details for you. My calendar is up to date below. Um, if not, and this resonated with you and you like the vibe here, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button and, um, hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new content. And uh, this is what I got for you right now, Libra. We'll be thinking of you this week because this is an energy I haven't felt in a long, long time. I'm very excited for you. So love and light until next time, Libra. Take care.